Hey fans, people in the webs, it's me, Sam Vest One, coming at you for another Star Trek, the official Starships collection review. This time we're doing issue um oh is this issue number special issue number seven or eight? I can't remember. I'll put it here. Um I should have it up ready, but there you go. I just kind of decided I'm gonna do it because I've just not had time to do any reviews at the moment because of work being because I work retail and we're getting up to the magic C word coming up. Um, and I've just not had any time and my days off have just been literally just going sitting on the couch going TV you know and that's basically been it so um, I thought I'd do this video now because I've got five minutes to kill and uh, for some reason my Xbox Live isn't working so I can't shoot people in the face so you know you know first of all problems and all that and I've just turned my fucking TV off I don't know what I've done there uh, so I'm going to use my TV as my computer monitor because my computer monitor died a couple of weeks ago. Anywho, um, as per usual, we get a nice... Oh, this time we're doing USS Voyager, the Sternback concept. Yes. Um, this will be the third concept model we've had. So as per usual, nice glossy magazine. And then we get the ship itself. More on that a little bit later. So we should get cracking on, shall we, boys and girls? Yes, Class Intrepid, designed by Rick Sternbach, series Statue Voyager, designed in 1994. Cause obviously, it didn't get an actual on screen, um, um, you know, an, an actual on screen appearance. So, we've got a beautiful underside view of it there. You can see um, the Voyager that we got sort of happening somewhere. You can see, you can see that the deflector is there. The basic sort of shape of the saucer. You've got this like sort of indent here. Um, you know, so you can see things happening. Um, and you'll notice it's got a different register number of NCC seven three six zero two. But the seven four six five six just sounds better. And then we've got a um, topographical view there. And again, you can you can see what elements that would. Um, appear on the normal Voyager, like the basic shape of the saucer. You've got the um, secondary deflector dish, the way the phaser banks are. You've got the strip, you've got the center um, palace there, the name, the bridge shape. Um, although that's more or less like on a runabout, but you've got the shuttle, shuttle bay there. Um, you know, you can see the basic shape happening, which is cool. Rick Steinbeck designed. Response for the Star Trek, uh, Star Trek series Bible for Star Trek Voyager, which describes the ship as being like a bullet uh, and smaller than Enterprise D. And then we've got some concept designs of the ship itself. Um, I've seen these over the years. Um, not never seen that one. That's a weird one. Kind of looks like one of the um, um, what was it? The special specialization ships from um, Star Trek Online. Um, yeah, the uh, that's, that's pretty cool. And then you've got a, a version of it there with like an extra sort of um, I don't know conning tower, I guess I want to say. And then we've got some more images of it there. We've got um, you know really nice, beautiful uh, image there. And you've got the an image there of the nacelle cover opening to like vent plasma. That'd have been cool. Um, they still could have put that in, but they didn't. Um, and then we've got sort of some schematics going on there. Again, you can kind of see what's happening. You've got the top and bottom one there. And you've got the bottom one there as well, as well as the top one there. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the front, like you said, that, that kind of looks like Voyager already, but the nacelles are in the wrong place. You've got a, um, a cutaway there and then a CG render of it. Because this ship only ever had that um, concept model. And you've got sort of deck plans going on there. So it only had a little bit of a concept model, which I've seen pictures of in the past. And then you've got different deflector dishes going on. And you can see sort of Voyager happening, if you know what I mean. Uh, we've got designs of it there. You've got... That's pretty cool. There's a door on um, sort of like on the, on the outside of the ship. So they went with like a, like a standard airlock and then they went with the more familiar holodeck door type, cargo bay door type thing. And then you've got different sort of images of the 
underside of the saucer where the air shuttle went and stuff like that and you've got a beautiful underside shot of it there and another cg render of it there because the cg render of it is is um is for this model so yeah really good magazine this time around um i love the concept ones more please more please um so I'll put that down there and then onto the ship itself and as you can see it is very nice very nice you got um are they clear yes you've got clear plastic nacelles uh, buzzard collectors but not nacelles which is a bit of a pain um, like I said you can see you can see Voyager happening um, this camera is so shit you can't see anything up close oh, but the name of the engine numbers there you've got all this detail there you've got the paneling lines you've got the Aztec going on you've got the deflector dish which isn't coloured which isn't clear plastic but then again now nah, 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 it's not on the real Voyager either so there's there's the real Voyager um, and the concept one which is pretty cool, and you can't see some big fat fucking fingers are in the way. Um, so it's a radical redesign, but you can see things happening already. You know, you can see the sort of basic sort of shape happening, which is really cool. You know, um, yeah. So you can see sort of things that would they they started with this would end up on this one. Um, you know, you got um, similar shape saucer, but this one's obviously much bigger. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's really cool. You got some really nice detailing on the on the spine of the ship there. Um, you got some uh, what I assume are impulse engines, which are not painted. But um, yeah, it's just a nice thing. It's just a nice thing to have. Um, like I say you got all this detail on there. You've even got a uh, Starfleet pennant on the bottom there, rather than on the sides. Because, of course, this Voyager has it on the side there. Um, it's nice to see them on the bottom. I like them on the bottom. Um, but, yeah, it, it is a really nice-looking ship. Um, it's a shame that this never really got any screen love. Um, but, yeah, it's really nice. I fucking like it. Should you get this ship? Yes, you fucking should. If you're a Voyager fan, you should get this ship because you should get this because we've... We now have four Voyagers. We have the normal Voyager, we have the Warship Voyager, the um, Armoured Voyager, the Concept Voyager, and the Assimilated Voyager is on the way too. So, that is really nice ship there. I really do like it a lot. And, yeah, you should get this if you're a Voyager fan, um, or if you're a fan of Federation ships, bulks out the Federation ships. But I'm placing these in a um, different section. I'm going to put them in Concepts, because now that we've got... The Enterprise C concept. I said the first time ever we've had that as a model. Um, the uh, Probert um, Phase Two Enterprise, which is really cool as well. So we've now got three concept designs. I'd like to see a couple more. So the concept fleet is um, getting ever bigger, um, which is really cool. Um, which is really fucking cool. Um, I keep saying that, don't I? I need to expand my vocab um, somewhat. Um, but it gets the job done, doesn't it? Yes. Um, sorry, everything's falling fucking down at the moment. There we are. So, yeah, you really should get this. I really do like it. I like the design of it. I like the look of it. I like the... Because um, you can see, you kind of see like a runabout thing going on there as well. So they've taken elements from different ships. Um, although the one thing I would change on this ship... Is I would have these nacelles straight so basically as they are on here sort of sticking out at the side rather than sort of angled downwards I'd sort of have them um, maybe even like an excelsior so maybe up so maybe up that way so I think the nacelles look the, the, the buzzard collectors look better that way but that's just a personal nitpick it's not the, the ship itself it's just a personal nitpick um, but hats off Eagle Moss hats family fucking off because this is a really good ship and you should definitely get it. Um, it's available on the website at the moment. Um, so you should pick it up. Because we are getting a few more of these extra ships as well. Not part of the regular sub subscription. Because we're getting the Enterprise F. The Simulated Voyager. The Aventine. The TOS Aventine style. Um, and there's a few of the escapes me at the moment. But it does have a nice little stand. And it has, it says on the bottom, USS Voyager. A Steinbeck concept. Which is pretty cool. And it nicely fits on its stand thus. And it fits so nicely within other Federation ships. It's really fucking cool. Very thin. Very thin. I mean, you can... Oh, 
shit, dropping everything. Uh, Nils, you're gonna, you can, you can, you can, you can relax. I've dropped something. <laughs> you can see it's very thin compared to the actual Voyager that we got, and it's a little longer. Um, yeah, it's a little longer than Voyager. Um, but yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Um, it's nice to have the before and after as well. Um, so, and it's like I say, it fits on the stand thusly, um, and it is a very nice addition to the collection. Um, and I will get mine sorted at some point, but it's very nice, very nice looking ship. You should definitely get it, and it looks fucking brilliant next to the Enterprise C concept and the oops, shit, the Probert concept as well. Um, so we'll just put that back down there before I fucking drop it on the floor. So, well, thanks for watching me do this very quick review. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, so. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that thumbs up. Um, helps the channel out, and um, and hit um, the notification bell to tell them we've got new content out. Which is hopefully I'm going to try and get a steady stream of it going in the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, because um, like I said, Christmas is coming up. I'm probably going to have a sort of enforced hiatus um, due to the fact I just won't have any time to fucking you know scratch me on ass, you know. So so yeah. So like, share, and subscribe. All the good stuff. You can check my playlist, which will be here, um, for other Star Trek, uh, official Star Trek collection reviews. And if you'd be a dear and um, donate to my Patreon, that'd be so cool. Um, and you'll get some um, cool goodies. Um, when I've actually fucking thought about it, because I haven't thought about it. You'll get your name in the credits, you'll get um, some exclusive videos, um, and you'll get a video. Um, you get to see a video first as well see it a bit early so it's just one dollar a month and that'll be so fucking cool um and yeah so and i will catch you later adios muchachos